You can look beautiful and feel great about your body today if you dress in accordance to your body proportions and if you know some general fashion principles and rules that are universally flattering for many different body shapes. This is the third video in series how to dress in order to flatter your body shape and today I want to dive more into colors, fabrics, structures, accessories and other important details that helps improve your look today. Along this video I will give you some tips and I will show you real life examples how those principles work so that you are well equipped to put everything into practice straight after watching this video. So without any further ado, let's just start. Wear structured pieces. Structured tailored garments rather than loose flowy garments, they tend to have a very solid outer line. Therefore, by wearing these structured garments, it is easy to reach the desired result or visual effect. So for example, our glass silhouette will create a slimmer waist effect, bigger shoulders will create a leaner body in general effect, a long line vest will create additional vertical side panels, will elongate you, will make you appear taller and slimmer in general. Also, what is great about structured pieces is that you can play around by adding different accessories on them and creating that waist that might not be existent uh, beforehand. And uh, it is a great option to a little bit camouflage the side bits if you want or the front area. You can roll up the sleeves to create more balanced look. It is my one of my favorite pieces that I like playing around with and creating different proportions with my looks. So the fabrics for our garments is as important as the right silhouette or fit. Fabrics which are very stiff and very rigid, also the ones that has a lot of texture in them, usually creates additional bulk to our frame, especially if they are not tailored. On the other side, too light and too fluid fabrics might uh, cling and also show off the structure of your skin. So if you have cellulite, who doesn't? <laughs> that might be not a really flattering option. Also, the fabrics that has a shimmer to them, velvety fabrics, satin finish fabrics, even though I love those so much. But, and I'm not telling that you cannot wear those pieces. Of course, you can wear leather, and, and tweed and satin and velvet, but just make sure that you are not wearing those pieces on the most prominent uh, body parts that you might be self-conscious about. So for example, if you are big busted and uh, you love satin pieces, you can opt for a satin skirt instead of a satin blouse or opt for a satin blouse that has a deep v-neck just in order to balance off. In my opinion, the best fabrics are the ones that hold the structure easily, but also they tend to skim over our bodies. Accessories is a great way not only to express your personal style, not only to add some interest to your look, but also to create a focal point on the areas that you want to accentuate. So for example, if you have wider hips uh, and you don't want to accentuate that area, you can draw the attention to your face by creating a focal point with the jewelry pieces, a hat or a scarf. So the the general rule of thumb is that you should pick the accessories in accordance to your overall body proportions. So for example, if you are on a smaller scale, you are slimmer and you are on the shorter side, then opt for more delicate uh, accessories that do not overwhelm your uh, proportions. On the other hand, if you are on a bigger scale, then probably opting for a little bit bigger accessories that would create a harmonious uh, visual completeness to, look, to your look is a great way to accessorize. 
but it totally does not mean that you have to wear all the time crazy scarves, big bags or huge earrings to draw the attention. From my personal experience, I have been wearing this jewelry set from Ana Luisa for the last week and every time when I get to meet someone new, I get asked, where did you get this beautiful jewelry pieces. By choosing jewelry pieces that goes in line with your personal style, you do not necessarily need to add something very extravagant to, to draw the attention to. Sometimes very dainty, subtle jewelry pieces might create a beautiful and harmonious focal point and visual harmony that is appealing to everyone around you. If you are interested in long-lasting pieces that are crafted in a sustainable way and that are priced at the fair prices, then check out Ana Luisa Jewelry. And as you might know, this is one of the jewelry brands that I am choosing for the last three years and I'm very glad to tell you that right now they are running summer sale. If you are interested in their jewelry pieces, check them out by clicking the link in the description box that will give you 20% off with their summer sale. The fit of the garment refers to how the clothing piece sits on our body. So tailor fit is not as roomy as a regular fit, but not as tight as slim or skinny fit. Tailored fit is usually assumed as the most timeless and sleek fit. This fit features shaped waist and usually very clean lines, which create not only stylish and timeless feel, but also usually brings out the very best in our figures. So opt for tailored fit trousers instead of skinny trousers, opt for a uh, tailored fit dress in order to accentuate feminine curves, tailored fit shirt is a great option in creating a timeless look. The next tip is wear color. So you probably have heard a lot about the magic uh, that black color creates and here I'm telling you wear color. I noticed that many women are very conscious about colors, especially whites, beiges, or, or very vivid colors. I would say that all of the colors might create an effect of downplaying or playing up. So the main color guideline is very simple. Wear lights and brights in the areas you want to accentuate and wear darker muted tones on the areas that you want to downplay. So you don't have to wear blacks or navies all the time. Use this principle when you are wearing any color. Reds or if you're going for monochromatic look, if you're going for the pastels or any other combination. But just keep in mind the following rule. Avoid harsh horizontal contrast on the areas that you might be self-conscious about. For example, in case you have wider hips and you want to camouflage this area, do not bring your top on the widest part of your hips. Just tuck that blouse inside of your trousers and that will create a more harmonious look and will create a focal point on your waist. And in case if you want to look taller and slender in general, monochromatic looks are just great in creating that visual effect. Just make sure that you are not creating any harsh or horizontal contrast in your look. And the last tip is skin tone shoes. To create an illusion of never-ending legs, slip on the heels or flats that match your skin tone. And that is very important because I can hear a lot about nude color shoes, but nude color shoes will be different for everybody. So for example, if you have deep toned skin or you have a very tan skin in summer, then opt for the color of your shoes that matches your skin tone exactly. Skin tone shoes are perfect with knee length uh, skirts and midi dresses, culottes or trousers in light tones. No worries, if it's too cold uh, already for you to show off your bare legs, then just match the color of your tights and your shoes to create that visually elongated leg effect. 
I believe that throughout the relationship to our bodies, we might establish a great feeling about ourselves and uh, this is the main ingredient in order to feel good and great about yourself and start loving and accepting your body as it is today. In order to improve your look by improving your body proportions and your overall look, do not forget the power that structured pieces and fitted garments might create. Do not forget that you can enjoy yourself uh, by wearing color and putting on great accessories and jewelry pieces. And do not forget to click the link in the description box to get 20% off with Anna Luisa Summer Sale. That is it for today. If you are interested in watching all the series, find the link in the description box down below and you will be able to watch all the series about how to dress in order to flatter your figure. Thank you so much for spending this time today with me. I really hope that you are doing great and you are enjoying the summer. Please allow all the notifications on this channel so you are informed when I'm going live or when I am posting a new episode. Thank you so much and take care. Sending you my best wishes and love. Goodbye.